And faith is all that is required. We are not required to stop sinning. We are not required to go to communion and take communion. And faith is all that. Listen, did you catch that? That is required. We are not required to stop sinning. We are not We are not required to stop sinning. Let me repeat that again. We are not required to stop sinning. So listen guys, you can live the exact same pagan lifestyle you did before. And all you need to say is, I believe. And by golly, do you believe? Your boy's dying a little bit. I've heard a lot of quotes in my lifetime. I've heard a lot of things said before that made made old sap just uh, burst a blood vessel, but that's got to take the cake. That's got to take the cake. You don't have to. You don't have to stop sinning. You can just say, "I believe." <laughs> I hardly know any. Like I hardly know pro like any Protestants who believe that. All the Protestants I grew up with, you know, because I grew up, uh, you know, I, I grew up with non-denominational and evangelical Protestant and a lot of Baptists too. And they wouldn't say that. They would say if you didn't stop sinning, that would be a sign that you didn't really have faith. That's crazy. I mean, and, and <laughs> what else have we read this entire time? But the exact op literally the exact opposite. The exact opposite of that concept. Right? If you love me, you will keep my commandments, right? You know, there will be many who say, Lord, Lord. I will say, I, I knew you not. But he who does the will of my father, right? <sighs> Jesus saying to the woman caught in adultery and about to be stoned. Go and sin no more. Troy, it's Troy's dog training brought to mind. Go and sin no more. Well, guys, I guess Jesus didn't really mean it, or it was just a nice, or at best, it was just a nice suggestion, because apparently, according to Nuisance, you don't even have to stop sinning. You just say, I believe, and it's all good. Dog, this is killing me. I mean, I didn't think it was gonna get this bad, but it did. He went, he, he went there. Like, this is beyond absurdity. I mean, it's just like, I, I don't have any words to describe um, the, the absurdity of this. We're just gonna continue on to the end, bro. Required to go to communion and take communion every Sunday. We're not required to even get baptized. Ephesians 2 8, for by grace, grace means it's a free gift that we don't deserve. We are saved by a free gift received through faith. It is not of yourself, it is a gift from God, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is not from our good works that gets us into heaven. It's not our good deeds. It's not our obedience to God. It is believing in Christ and that alone. And when we believe, Christ gave us the sacrament of baptism to have his grace. That's a free gift. Christ gave us the Eucharist to have his grace. That is a free gift. Christ gave us the sacrament of reconciliation to have his grace. That is a free gift. Do you see why my brain is being melted right now? Because again, it's the same thing he's been doing this entire video. Taking a section of scripture, applying it in his own particular way, and then literally ignoring the rest. Quite literally just throwing out the rest. I mean, I'm, I'm just like, we will.
I'm bursting at the seams, bro, with with just madness right now. This is this has got to take the cake for some of the the worst cringe I've, I just have ever heard. I'm sorry.